Welcome home, Bulldogs. It's homecoming 2017. It's full of the Bulldog family, the fun, and certainly the memories, old and new. I love uh, just seeing pals I haven't seen in a long time. Um, it's very Pavlovian, where like I went to the calf last night and even hearing the chairs going into the table, I was like, yeah, I remember that sound. One thing we talk about at Sanford University is we really want to demonstrate being a family atmosphere. You see a lot of kids, a lot of activities for the family. So for me, it always feels great to be back because you see familiar faces and then you also are meeting new people for the very first time. So it's a great feeling to be back. And back on campus, three big reunion groups, the class of 1967, 1992, and 2007. And while that spans 50 years, some things about Samford never change. You feel like you just saw them yesterday. It was my home for a long time, so I definitely feel like this is a part of me, a huge part of my life. Conversations, um, yeah, we do. It's, it's like, even though it's been a long time, it, we just kind of pick up where we left off, and we've all had kids, and uh, we tell stories. That's my thing, I don't have the best memory, so I love when people tell stories, and I can just, remember that kind of stuff. It's been fun to see, you know, the others that I haven't and see the families and the children that they have now and just reconnect. Meanwhile, at Friday night's alumni candlelight dinner, we had special Sanford graduates honored with alumni and humanitarian of the year honors. Congratulations and thank you for all you do for Sanford University. Sanford to me is, is home. It's the first place I chose. You know, I chose to go to college here in Birmingham. I've got a lot of connections here. I was wondering at first if they had called the right person. And uh, just very humbled and honored because I could think of so many other people who I thought should win this award. It just brought back this sense of home. Uh, it's unbelievable my four years here of growing um, spiritually, uh, emotionally, just as a young woman. Um, and to be here is just, it's so fun to have my family here to be able to show them and meet people that I've known for years and um, see this life that maybe someday they'll come to school here. Being named Alumni of the Year is, is just an honor and it's special to me. It's probably the, the highest award that I can receive in my life, so it means a lot. And speaking of honors, let's not forget our homecoming king and queen. They were crowned at this year's Bulldog Bash, a party on Ben Brown Plaza. I am feeling extremely humbled for this. Didn't really know how it was going to turn out, so I'm just so grateful because Sanford, me getting here was such a God thing, and I wouldn't be here without the Lord's help. So it's great to represent Sanford in this way. It's just such an honor. Uh, I don't know. It's just really, uh, really neat that my peers would uh, vote for me to be the homecoming king, and I'm just really humbled uh, by all of this, and it just means the world to me. So we have royalty. Reunions, Spike graduating, Sam taking over. What are we missing? Well, how about some football? Bulldog walk starts things off. Then our football team, ranked 14th in the nation, takes care of ETSU. I think Coach Hatcher sums up the weekend perfectly. But I would imagine. Yeah! For Sanford University, I'm Brad Radisi.